Summon the ancient cube of Quidoxen, the mechanical gears of Quelor, in cubic form, so I may standeth upon thee. Nothing seems to be spawning. This is wasting a lot of time. Spawn the damn cube already. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a side scrolling puzzle platformer for the PlayStation 3. This game was also released on the PSP and I think Windows. Or maybe it wasn't released on PSP. It was also released on Windows. You can get it through Steam, I know. You can also get it, I think, on Mac and I think Linux. Uh, it might be on PSP too. It's Trine or Trine or Trine or I don't know how you say this. I'm going to say Trine, I think, or Trine. I'll alternate back and forth. Uh, let's just check the options here. Brightness, subtitles. Boy, remember when options let you have like seven lives and change the difficulty? And also, whatever happened to sound tests, man? I don't know what they were used for, but remember you go into the options menu of any like Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis game, and there'd be like a sound test, and you could play like every sound the game had built into it. Um, oh, actually, you can change it. Speak of the devil, you totally can change the difficulty. We'll go ahead and leave it on uh, medium, though. That that's uh, that's about uh, about our speed. So the way Trine works, it's kind of like a modern version of the Lost Vikings. You have three different characters, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. They each have different abilities, and rather than them each being three separate characters on the map, they have to move separately. Basically, you can tele you can transport into or morph into. Uh, each character whenever you want. So you're just running around the screen and you're constantly shifting between rogue, wizard, and warrior. And uh, that's basically the way the game works. Um, so we have to select the save slot, I guess the first one, and medium. Okay. Um, and here is the world of Trine. Land far, far away. A kingdom was prospering. I love the art. Peace could only last so long. The old yeah, it always does. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged, only to fall the next... Sounds like Game of Thrones, to be honest. ...and would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. This sounds just like Game of Thrones. The kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. I uh, need to call George R. R. Martin. Uh, Trine has uh, plagiarized his uh, his life's work here. All right. So the kingdom, they, uh, the the, a king died. There was no successor. A bunch of chaos ensued, and basically, um, now three heroes have to go on a puzzle quest to uh, save the universe. I guess. So here we are uh, as the uh, the nimble the nimble rogue. She does not approve of pants. She's running around pantsless, and that's the way it's gonna be. Um, so running and jumping. Oh God, I <laughs> I already messed up at the beginning. I messed up that jump. All right. So uh, you can also uh, go ahead and swing. So that's the rogue's main mechanic is swinging. She can also run on chains. So that's the thing. hey -o. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Uh, hold on. It's telling me to use the trigger. Oh, I was using... Okay, so square also does this. Interesting. Uh, all right. So this is actually kind of fun. So the rogue has the power of rope. And she can jump and use a rope. So those are her two claims to fame. Oh, and we can also swing above this thing, I imagine. Hey, oh, yeah, there you go. You can't you can't keep a good good rogue down. Oh, God. <laughs> can try and crush her with rocks. As she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Okay, so we have a narrator in this game. Give charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Oh, my God, look at all this wealth. Look at all this wealth. This is crazy, man. This is like a uh, Cave of Wonders, Aladdin-style wealth. Pocket some of it. You're a thief. What are you doing? There's there's no steel button. This is the worst thief ever. Um, anyway, the uh, the narrator kind of reminds me. I think Bastion is a game that has a narrator, or also the par the Stanley Parable. It's another one. Tingling sensation. 
The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. But he just... He just passed out in front of the telescope? Just passes out like on his, uh, you know, outside terrace in the summer? I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of yeah, well, that, was a lie. that would be a convenient spell to know. Had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The, the potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Okay. Sounds like this guy is a bit of a player, or at least, at least he wants to be. Okay, what, what are we supposed to do here? Can we, like, hit, pull on stuff? So we can grab stuff with our hand, but, like, I don't understand. Can we, like, grab anything useful? Oh, we can grab this. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can just, like, holy crap, this guy's telekinetic. This is actually a super useful power. Just totally smash this thing. And this thing. Okay, so that's that's kind of convenient, actually. Maybe we can, like, grab this thing over here, too. Yeah, come to Papa. Come to the ladies' man. Ladies', ladies man whiz robe. Uh, move the object. There's, like, a... What is this? Like, a, a fist? Oh, we can, like, grab a fist? Can we punch someone with it? <laughs> okay. Interesting. So you can you can move move objects in the world being the wizard. Good to know. All right, let's get all this stuff. All the these sweet treasures. All right, two of fifty of the green potions. That's good. That's good. So um yeah, this is not a bad idea for a video game. I would say like the Lost Vikings are one of my like favorite Super Nintendo games. Um, I never really played the sequel all that much, but the original I did play a lot. It's one of the early games I played on my channel too, actually. Um. And, yeah, like a modern retelling of Lost Vikings. Oh, wait, draw a square. Okay. Is this good enough? Drawing a square. Drawing a square. It's hard to do with the thumb pad. Okay. Oh, it actually did something. I was like, this is not doing anything. Okay. So you can... Oh, can we, can we just continue to draw more squares? Okay. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> All right, while we try and draw a square here, it's just like a simple, simple design. Oh, wait. And then I have to stand. Oh, I gotcha. So I needed it to do that. Cool. Oh, and I can just jump up here. Okay, can we, like, pull this thing over, I wonder? Wait, hold on. Grab this thing. Man, this wizard has crazy powers. Forget about the rogue. Oh, oh, this is like a teeter-totter thing. Okay, pull this down then. And then jump on it. Boom. And then we pull, grab this thing and pull up. Man, if you had telekinetic powers like this, that'd be super, super convenient for life in general. Grab it, grab it. <laughs> there we go. I hate when you know what, when you know what you need to do, but you just can't get your character to actually do it. Okay, so we'll grab this too. We're going to get all the things, guys. Don't worry. We are completionists. Um, we're actually playing the demo of this game today, so, like, I'm in no rush to, like, get through it, because, like, once we're through the levels we got, we're through it. I don't know how long this, this demo is, but we only got so many levels, so we might as well enjoy them together, you know? The wizard saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine. No one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. I mean, I didn't encounter anything protecting it. It seemed fairly unprotected to me. Howling? Why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? He's gonna hit on her, trust me. touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. <laughs> than ladies? For his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. It's the third person. Trust me. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead 
and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what Yuan did meant. But this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. I like how he's kind of fat. Like, look at it. He's, he, he's like a knight with a pot belly. Um, and he's just, like, wrecking stuff, man. Like, he's, like, just punching through walls and, like, breaking boards. Like, he doesn't care. Um, so I guess all the characters can jump. I was thinking it would be a little more like Lost Vikings, where, like, only one character could jump. But I guess they all can. Um, an interesting sort of aspect of this game... Boink! That's kind of cool. An interesting aspect of this game is... Oh, look, there's another one way over there. I don't know how to get that one. Um, is that you can actually play this game multiplayer. And when you play this game multiplayer, oh, you can block in different directions. Oh, that's kind of cool. When you play this game multiplayer, um, what happens is each player takes over a certain uh, character. And you actually sometimes have to solve puzzles and levels a little differently than you do in single player. Because you can't just switch between different characters. Um, so right now we can't switch, obviously, but once we all touch the trine block over here, then we will all meld into one, and then we will share a body and we'll be able to morph between, you know, whoever needs to, like, be in charge, basically. Um, all right, here are the other two characters. Uh, there's two people that seem to be struggling, reaching for a gem. I'm just going to totally grab the same gem. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? But only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? <laughs> that thief has been standing there, like, pr like poised to touch the gem for like ten minutes. It's kind of awkward. Simply disappeared. Whoa, they phased. It's like those Star Trek uh, episodes where there's a transporter accident and like two more people end up in the same body or something like that. That's basic. That's the equivalent of like what's happened here. Remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. Okay. What what, what did he remember? Fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure. Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object. The trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... Whoa. The thief remains. So you can switch between characters now. Well, we'll stop listening to this narrator guy because I feel like he's just like going in circles. But you can get experience that allows you to like upgrade your guys a little bit, and you can switch between guys. So it's like you can be the wizard, the rogue, whoever you want. Be the rogue for a bit. We haven't seen her in a little while. Um, okay, actually. Oh, she can actually push blocks. So there you go. You don't even need the wizard. Um, oops. <laughs> uh, okay, we don't want to swing, though. We want to try and go up. Ha! That didn't quite work. Shoot with the bow. Oh, interesting. Oh, so we can, like, kill guys from afar. Oh, I like that. Okay, but I don't, I don't know how to get up there. Maybe the... Is there anything the wizard can grab? Can he grab these? Oh, that'd be, that'd be too overpowered, I guess. All right, um, let's switch to the rogue here. Yeah! Oh, there we go. That kind of works. Oh, look, and we can just come up over here. Easy. Okay, let's, let's try and shoot this guy. <laughs> come on, buddy, you want some of me? You want some of me? Oh, that's, that's actually more fun than uh, being, the, uh, being the warrior guy. Ha! 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 All right, okay, that's a checkpoint. Okay. Can we uh, grab this guy, grab this thing? The catacombs may have the answer, and it's not And we'll, like, just do this, I guess? All right. <laughs> Very inelegant. I thought I had to, like, get this thing swinging, but... Uh... Yeah, there you go. All right, whatever. Whatever. Uh, this game used, uh, like, the NVIDIA physics thing, I think. Uh, back in the day when that was like impressive, but I mean like it looks it looks pretty good, right? Like I mean this could be a modern retelling of the Lost Vikings 
It's possible. Oh, that one got him right in the head. Oh, so did that one. <laughs> Man, she can aim. I will say the controls for this game are, like, very intuitive. They, like, really feel... Um, they really feel, like, right for the PlayStation 3 controller, which is nice. Um, interesting trivia about this game. It was not actually originally developed... Uh, sort of primarily to be, uh, you know, like a big release game. It was actually kind of developed as like a side project um, for this guy who worked at the company who finally produced this game. I forget the name of the company now. But basically, the main project that the team was working on um, didn't do so well. They ended up having to abandon it. And when they did, they were sort of like, well, we need, we need something else then. And the guy who was working on this was like, hey, how about this game I've been working on? And people were like, yeah, actually, it's pretty good. So this was never even, like, you know, they, nobody set out to kind of, like, make this game. It was just sort of like a dude who had his own ideas. It was like, hey, this would be kind of cool. Um, and in a way, that kind of makes it more like an old school video game where, like, you know, a single developer had, like, a cool idea that they wanted to try out as opposed to, like, a company was like, we need a sequel to this because it produced this much profits and focus groups told us that people want to see this and... Blah, blah, blah. You know, like, it was more like one guy's, like, idea of what he wanted to sort of produce. Nice. Oh, we got him right in the groin. That's where I aim. Oh, that one went in the knee. Okay, so. Oh, God. She, like, just swung right through the spikes. All right. Uh, we're going to jump on here and here. You know what? There, There's, like, a, a good amount of... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, God. Into the spikes. Oh, my God. Oh, sucker okay i think he's he's stuck in the spikes too oh and so is he there's a good amount of like platforming and puzzling in this game the levels are like actually pretty interesting i must say just pretty cool i didn't necessarily have like high hopes for this game i didn't have like low hopes either i didn't know what to expect but i gotta say this game is like impressing me so far it's simple but it's also like a, a bit of a challenge to it um, okay. We are, however, just making a mockery of this and, like, dying like crazy. Um, hold on, let's kill this guy, too. And she's the one who needs health. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, she's totally dead. Uh-oh. How do we revive someone? Uh, change character. All right, so she's dead. Um, we lost the thief. That sucked. Uh, I wanted to see if we could, like... Uh, use her to like uh, use her rope to like grab onto something, but she died. Oh wait, she's back. Okay, she comes back at checkpoints. Oh, and the heart's gone too. Okay, hold on. Where's grappling hook attaches to wooden only to wooden surfaces. Okay, so there is no no surface here, but she can grab onto this and go. We get dragged underneath, and okay, that kind of didn't work at all. Oh, get off of this thing. Okay, maybe we can go up like this. Yeah, here we go. Wee! Oh, look at this. Boom, full health. You guys didn't think I had it in me. I figured it out. So, yeah, there's some interesting, like, interesting physics going on here. Whoops, whoops. Okay, that worked. It's okay. Jump! Oh, I wonder what's down there. Let's just see real quick. Oh, it's nothing. Okay, so we do have to go up the way we came. I'm, I'm just trying to explore the levels fully again. We're playing a demo here. Um... Basically, I, I thought I owned this game on PlayStation 3. I was pretty sure I had a clear memory of owning it. And when I loaded up my PS3 after many years of not playing it uh, to make this video today, I found that I didn't own this game. And it was actually a little disappointing. Oh, damn it. Um, and I looked at it on PlayStation, the PlayStation Network to pick it up. And it's still expensive. It's still like uh, 10 or 15 bucks or whatever it is. And for a game that's this old, like, I just can't justify spending that much. Oh, my God. How do I shoot the arrow? Shoot the shoot the arrow. Oh, it's this. Jeez, I forgot the controls for a second there. Um, I just can't justify spending that much on a game that's that old, you know? Like, I think I'm being spoiled by Steam sales. But also, like, you know, older games that aren't download only, you can, you can buy physical copies for, like, five bucks or less all the time. Like, there's, there's never a chance of having to pay more than five bucks for a video game these days. And I kind of feel like... I don't know, again, maybe it's me getting spoiled. How do we get down there, by the way? I wonder. Uh, maybe it's me being spoiled, but, like, I, it just... Is any, is any really old game worth f the full price that you paid when it released? I don't know, just on principle, I feel like I don't want to pay that anymore. 
So I decided to go with the demo today. Uh, and I figure, you know, we only ever play these games for like half an hour or 40 minutes anyway, so... Um, it is, you know what, as, as much as I'm complaining about the fact that I still want full price for this game, at least there is a demo. Um, a lot of games won't even bother to do that, you know, they won't even bother to, like, give you a demo, they'll just expect you to pay full price and, like, that's that. So, at least this one, they're giving you the choice. So I do support demos, but, I don't know, download-only titles, they've always kind of irked me because there is no used market, and they're never gonna get cheaper, and it just seems like... That sucks. I don't know. <laughs> it sucks because uh, I like to buy games on the cheap. I like to get a deal, man. I like to get a deal. Okay, maybe are we supposed to, like, go up on that thing? Can we... Yeah, we can swing. Oh, look at that! She's swinging like crazy. Oh, here's where we have to use, like, more than one hero at a time, I bet. So we'll use this guy. We'll get this swinging, like, really far. Then we'll get her on. And yeah, there we go. All right, it's kind of cool. So you have to use multiple heroes together. Damn it, <laughs> to uh, solve puzzles. Oh my god, she almost died. Uh, let's switch to this guy. Let's be nice and safe. Block, block. Can I block these? Oh, I totally can too. Cool. So the shield is useful. Oh, I like landed on that skeleton. <laughs> All right. Lock. I guess he needs the health as much as she does, so we're gonna go ahead and take it for him. Um, anyway. The fact that this game, by the way, was not- Ow! Developed as, like, a prime- Ow! <laughs> primary game, and only kind of came about because somebody was working on it on in their spare time. Uh, kind of reminds me of, like, the genesis of, uh, Google Calendar. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, Google Calendar was not something that Google had, like, originally designed and developed. It was something that, like, um, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to let their employees work on their own hobby projects um, here and there. And Google Calendar started off as a hobby project of one of the engineers. And then eventually he, uh, they turned into a real product. Oh, look at all these skeletons getting just ground up by the mill. They're, all their bones just end up like, oops, I should have switched to this guy. Oh, well, hey, he, he seemed to get healed too. I guess you like share potions or something between your characters. Something like that. I don't know. But yeah, Google, Google Calendar was not a planned product. It just sort of came about. Oh, get away from me. Get away from me, you stinking skeleton. Um, it just sort of came about out of convenience because somebody was working on it because they just like to program things. They just like to program things. So anyway, speaking of this game again, um, you know, I thought I owned this game, as I said. Uh, and I don't. I don't. So this is just the demo here today. But it kind of got me thinking of, like, all the games that I do actually own um, that I never play. Like, uh, I don't know if this is true for you guys, too. Wait, how do we do this, I wonder? Oh, we need the wizard? Can he grab things? Yeah, he can. Or maybe he can, like, grab this. Go like this. Boom! There we go. And there's bottles up here. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can totally uh, use her. Yeah. Man, I, I really like the thief. I really love the, like, grapple hook. It's actually, like, a super cool ability. Experience. So if you get 50 experience, then it, like, unlocks new abilities or something, and you can pick a character to give it to. I think. That's what I've read, at least. Ow. Okay, let's, uh, fight these guys. Oh, my God. They're going to kill us. They're going to kill us. Oh, my God. I just gotta, like, get away from the, uh, the arrow guys. Ah, oh, he died. Shoot, that's, uh, that's bad news. Change characters. Oh my god. Okay, we, we're not, we're not gonna run away from this fight again. Because, uh, we're not cowards. But, okay, there we go. We got him too. We can kill this guy. Nice try. Okay, there he goes. He made his move. It's time for our, us to make ours. Huh. Okay, we knock him down. Oh, and one to the knee, and one to the knee! The knee is the, the secret spot to kill the skeletons. Okay, let's uh, see what's over here. We don't want to miss anything. Oh, look, there's stuff all the way up there. Man, it's like, what direction do you go? I like that these levels are, like, so big and that you kind of have to explore them. Okay, I guess we're going to go up up here, we've decided. Um, picked up energy. Look at all this stuff up here. Oh, man, the thief. The thief is where it's at. Okay, now there's fireballs. Just go underneath them. 
Okay, can we get like get this thing knocked up? <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, now I'm on the wrong side of it. Shoot. Okay. Hold on. Go. Ow. Go, 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 thief. There we go. We got it. Um but yeah, like uh I have like a lot of games on like Steam and good old games and stuff like that that like I never play. Um I kind of wonder, like, do you guys have, like, a lot of games that you don't play, too, that are just sort of out and about? Um, I feel like any modern gamer, it's like, that's just what we do. We just have, like, a lot of games that, like, we just don't play anymore. But we own them, you know? It's sort of like we've all become, like, digital hoarders. It's really hard these days with Steam, because Steam usually has, like, pretty good sales. Although, like, I do, I have, like, my moral issues with Steam that uh, I try to forget about most of the time, but... Oh, we can just grab this and rotate it. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we'll put that like that, and then this like that. And grab this and pull it down. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but... <laughs> oh! And he jumped on some spikes. Okay, I guess we'll try and... Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, let's grab this. Do it like that. Huh! <laughs> I like the physics in this game. The physics puzzles are pretty good. They're pretty good, I'll say. It is hard to tell if you're walking through spikes or they're, they're in the foreground or background. The environments are actually awesome looking. Like, they're so interesting to see. Uh, you know, they look amazing. Like, this, this looks like a cool game. Um, and it actually plays like a cool game, too. Oh, there's some health. Definitely needed that. Kill this guy too. These skeletons are just spawning out of the... Every corpse of a skeleton I kill spawns a new one, it seems. They're like uh, Sa Samael's from uh, Hellboy. Uh, every time one dies, two more take its place or something like that. Um, Alright. So we need the wizard for this one, I think. Someone just shoot an arrow at me. Okay, come on, Wizzy! Wizzy the wizard. Oh, I just fell. So let's get this thing really spinning. Then we'll go ahead and do this. Do do this. Yeah. Okay, that, that didn't do anything. Go! There we go. We figured it out. Sort of. Oh, we fell back down. <laughs> Okay, let's grab it like this, and lift ourselves up, and we got it. We're good. Although, oh, there's skeletons following us. Let's go check out what we got over here. All right, suckers! <laughs> He's like, come and fight me like a man! And I'm like, I'm not a man. I am a woman! And then I, like, pelt him with arrows. Picked up more experience. We're becoming... The most experienced fighters in all the land. Um, alright. Oh, there's a thing up there. That's a wizard-looking thing. I can grab this. Who? So, um, I will say that although kind of like in some ways this game is like The Lost Vikings, like it's actually very different from The Lost Vikings. Like, Lost Vikings is all about figuring out a way to like... Uh, manipulate the level so that the three different characters who have very different abilities can all get through the level together. Um, so it's like each each character usually has to travel through the level slightly differently because like the guy who can't jump can't take the same route through the level as the guy who can. You know what I mean? But this game does not play like that. This game it's like all three characters are kind of like you know running around together. They can all jump. They're all taking the same path. It's just you have to use different abilities to get through different parts of the game, which is fine, but it's it's just different from uh, different from the Lost Vikings. Okay, let's actually use our the little square that we know how to make here. It is really hard to draw this thing. Like I feel like everything I've drawn so far should be like good enough. Like, okay, now I'm just drawing a circle. I'm getting really sloppy with it. Draw the square. Summon the ancient cube of Quidoxen. The, 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 the mechanical gears of Quelor in cubic form, so I may standeth upon thee. Nothing seems to be spawning. My chants and prayers are going unanswered. 
This is wasting a lot of time. Spawn the damn cube already. It's like his companion cube that does not want to come out and play. Are, are we serious? Are we serious? I know I'm not, I know I'm like a little sloppy, but you know, let's try and do it like really carefully. Nope, messed it up, messed it up, messed it up, messed it up. <laughs> like I can't, how do you draw a perfect square? Oh, forget it. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> After all that, how do you draw a perfect square with a PlayStation controller? Man, this cube is like all zonky. It's like going all over the place. No, just stay, stop rotating. Stop rotating. Okay, whatever. All right, it worked. It got us that experience. Okay, so the cube is like insanely difficult to draw. Huh. 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 There we go. Uh, what is that thing? Okay, we want. We totally want to grab that and have it punch. Punch. Or okay, maybe have it like swing. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh my god! That's not what I meant to do. But it worked. Alright, here we are. Okay, wizard. You pull this over here. And then warrior jump on. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I think I know what we have to do. We have to like use the warrior to like cut the rope so that we can uh so that, that giant fist can like fall. There we go. And it's supposed to fall on the bridge, but it's okay. We can grab the wizard to pick it up. And we can slam it down! That's like the most gingerly, slowly falling fist ever. Open the chest. What do we got? What's in the box? Oh god, switch to a different character, man! Switch to the ring of the spellcasters. Level up reach. Open the inventory and apply skill points to a character. Finally! Alright. So... Um, we can, the wizard can conjure a box into the world. Okay, what's, what's the level up of this? In, initially, the wizard can only conjure one box. And, oh, so we can conjure more than one box. Two arrows at once gives the knight a 5% chance of a critical hit. Well, I feel like the box is the only thing that's, like, useful. Um, now two boxes can exist at the same time. Man, remember how hard it is to spawn a single box? Now they want us to draw two. Like, it's nice we have the ability, but I feel like that's never going to happen. But at least we have more than one box. Um, but yeah, two arrows, I feel like th that doesn't really do anything. And like, a critical hit to enemies, the enemies are so weak right now, who cares? You know what I mean? So it's it was, it was basically the box or nothing. There was never any other choice. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and do this. This. We're so close. Just... Get up there. Okay, there we got it. We got it. These parts are fun. I like these platforms. They remind me of like old school Mario platforming. Where like platforms would like move or fall down if you landed on them funny and stuff like that. Um, all right, where are we off to now? Do we beat the level? We beat the level. Treen, trine. The game of games. The wonder of wonders. We beat it. We beat the, wait, did we beat it? What happens if you go to continue? Does it just like start the game again, the wizard tried or to everything what happens? Yeah, I think that one level is the only level that we get to play, obviously, because, again, we got the demo. Didn't feel like paying 15 bucks for this one. Um, yeah, all right. Back from where we, ca we came from, I think. Yeah, this is, the, this is the beginning of the level again. So, Trine here is one of the games in the book of Thousand One Video Games you must play before you die. We went ahead and played through the entire demo today, and I think we got a good sense of the game. I think we got a good feel for the game, of, like, what the game is about. Obviously, it's sort of like Lost Vikings, as I've been saying, but it's a little different. It's a puzzle-based platformer, and to be completely honest with you, I was actually more impressed with this game than I thought I would be. I thought this game would be relatively forgettable, but I don't think it actually is. It's... I mean, it's definitely... It's like it's no Super Mario, you know? It doesn't have the cachet to be Mario, but like as far as platforming games go, I've played far worse. And it has some kind of interesting mechanics. Um, the graphics and the levels actually look like really nice. I think the world looks looks really well done. Um, yeah, I don't know, like interestingly enough, you know, I think I would definitely recommend this to people. 
Um, it, especially, I'm curious to maybe one day check out the multiplayer. Maybe one day I will pull the trigger when I have a friend visiting or something. I'll pull the trigger and I will buy the full version of this and then we will play multiplayer together and see what that's like. Because apparently the game gets quite a bit more interesting when you play multiplayer. And I like the idea of that. I like, you know, like normally in games when you play multiplayer, enemies just get more difficult or more numerous. But, I, but this game, because you have to switch between three three characters, if you have uh, two players playing, so you can have two characters at the same time, that could actually change up the dynamics of a level. And you could solve puzzles slightly differently than when you're by yourself. So that could be actually pretty interesting, I would say. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this game would be really cool to play multiplayer. Maybe one day we'll check it out. But yeah, I gotta say, like, I think this is actually a good game, and it surprised me. It surprised me. I don't think this is necessarily, you know, like, uh, a game that's so influential or so good that, you know, everyone out there has got to play it. But I definitely do also think that uh, there's a solid game here. So if you're looking for a platformer that's a little different, um, I could definitely see this one being kind of fun. So those are my thoughts on this game, guys. What do you think? Uh, of this game? Is it a game that you have played that you would recommend that you're curious about? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Always interested to hear your thoughts. And again, whatever you think of the game today, hopefully I've made it entertaining for you. If I have, don't forget to slap the like button and subscribe and all that good stuff. Share this video with your friends and family and you know support me on Patreon and all that good stuff. <laughs> all the good stuff. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will be returning soon with another game from the book, A Thousand Games, Just Play Before You Die. So, uh, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Make sure to play all your PlayStation 3 demos. Don't let them go to waste. And for the love of God, play the games in your Steam library. You paid for them. You might as well play them. Don't just let them accumulate like I do. Oh, we hit that skeleton running through the door. Wow! Those were power moves, man. She has the aim of a goddess. I like the thief, man. The thief is awesome. Uh, anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and, uh, peace.